Welcome back everyone. You're watching training week of August 21st where I continued my build up to 2023 World Championships. Weekly focus was to come back to high bar after my tweaked shoulder. If you remember from the other week, I let go mid through a Yamawaki and hurt my what feels like somewhere in my bicep region, so maybe damaged my bicep tendon a little. Who knows, I feel it in the shoulder. Uh, so I felt ready to try to do some, some releases again. And so I did, it worked out quite well. So my memory is pretty rusty. This is two weeks ago. I've been a little bit slow uh, to make the videos. But uh, even, even now the shoulder is giving me quite a bit of discomfort but not so much that I can't train my routines so at this stage uh, you know two and a half weeks to go you got to do what you got to do I'm still not taking any any medita any medications any anti-inflammatories so if I can do it without them I think that's a good sign that there's nothing too too serious about it I find when I warm up really well uh, the, the pain is minimal it's usually just those first couple of turns that hurt quite a bit and then once I get into it it, uh, it almost feels just like a normal normal day in the office I think most gymnasts come to understand that pretty quick that usually the first couple of turns whether you're injured or not is just about getting some blood flow and telling your body what it's about to do so that it can tag along for the ride maybe it's me and my old body just doesn't want to get going so fast but to be honest I do remember when I was young just wondering why can't I do something straight away I should be able to do it first turn and maybe in some instances that's possible but not without a very good warm-up in fact just the other day I, I hopped up to a high bar support to do my first ever death drop so you'll see in the following training week, which was uh, finished just yesterday, I threw a death drop full twist from the high bar. And death drop is, uh, so when you're sitting on the bar and you just let yourself fall back and flip backwards to your feet. I've been terrified to do that ever since, uh, you know, the, the beginning. I've never done one until this current week. At 32, I did my first death drop. And here's my first uh, releases since hurting my shoulder. But coming back to the death drop, I, I learned Kachev uh, immediately straddling over the bar because I was too terrified to actually sit on it. And part of the reason is because you gotta land on the bar and flip backwards. And I just felt like I didn't have a clue how to do it. So my first Kachev over the bar was, was just straddled. So as you see me going through a layout routine for some cardio before my Tuesday uh, all six run through. I was going to talk more about the death drop, but I forgot what, what else there is to say. We actually had quite a fun, uh, quite a fun day yesterday with some of the younger boys and brought them all together and had every single person do the death drop. A couple of guys were terrified, a couple of guys did it straight away. Uh, but man, once I did my first one, I think it was on Thursday, I kind of wanted to do it again. I was sitting up there legitimately terrified. It might seem silly, but legitimately terrified to fall backwards. But you know, what's going to happen? The high bar is so high up, you got plenty of time to flip over. And even if you don't, you can always pike down and put your feet on the ground. So yeah, always some, some time for, uh, for some fun in the gym as well. Even in the most intense of times during a build up to world championships and intense it is um, you know every now and then I'm doing a bit of a tantrum I'm doing a bit of a screamo and of course you know there's there was no one in the gym except uh, there was actually someone in the gym this particular week I'll let that video play to reveal the truth of my Angus inner self um, but I immediately I immediately apologized for uh, to the person that was there. 32 years old fam, I still got a long way to go to keep all my frustrations at bay. And why do we get frustrated? We get frustrated because we care, because we care so much. 
but caring too much is a problem also. I, th I think that's a boat that I fall into where you care so much it actually disrupts your performance at competitions because you're dealing with too much stress, too much nervous energy. And especially on things like P-Bar and high bar it throws you off. And in my case, it, it, it really does throw me off. Even in trainings, even in trainings, I'm too nervous to feel, for example, a peach to one rail, uh, the same that I would do in a regular training session. It always feels different. I rush it. I make, uh, I make different mistakes. So learning to calm down is, is key for me. Must have been calm enough to stick that dismount though. In other news, still bending the arms on the kip, still bending the elbows on the press. Might have to wait till my 50s till I get those two skills with lock elbows. And still can't hold the straddle planche. Tuesday, all six, started things off with a nice and flat scissor handstand. Now let's talk a little bit about the next WGA Cash Cup. Uh, at this stage I've got pretty much a routine on every apparatus that I'm ready to submit. But the submission due date is September 18th. So I think I'm going to hold on to it a little bit longer just in case I can do some cleaner routines. And I am aware that there are rules of uh, the tiebreaker. When there's a tiebreaker the gymnast that submitted his routine first uh, gets gets the win. So it's not on start value, it's not on execution, it's on the earliest routine submission. Which brings up a, a question actually, and you know sometimes uh, Owen is actually watching my, my video so he might be able to respond if he's seen this one. But uh, let's say you post all of your routines and you do a better set sometime after the initial submission but still before the due date. Can you still repost uh, those routines? Obviously, it would be a new submission date. Uh, it would be a later submission. But for instance, would the other routines that were posted on the initial submission be on the initial submission date rather than, let's say, the extra one routine that you did that was cleaner that you decided to change? Hope that makes sense. That's a bit of a mouthful. But some of the, uh, a couple of routines here. I think possibly two or three I might submit so I've actually gone and, and blurred them out real quick or I didn't show the whole routine just to keep things exciting for for the actual uh, cash cup that's coming up in September this month works out really well for me as well because uh, you know obviously I'm building up to the to world champs so I'm doing plenty of routine work but the downfall is because I'm only training my world championships routines that I'm going to perform uh, I can't milk the rules as much as some other athletes that, that aren't training for anything. If you've read the WGA code of points, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of places that you can use to your advantage depending on your strengths. So, you know, I don't really have too much time or energy right now to do extra routines to make some of the other rules work for me. But hey, if there's another, another online competition in the future, uh, after Worlds, I'll be pretty keen to, to sit down and actually see where I can maximize the WGA rules to, to work for my gymnastics. So here's one routine that I might submit, although I have done um, a better one I think since then, but hey, pretty much a stuck dismount there, so happy chappy. So on this particular Tuesday I decided to do uh, no high bar routine because you know it had been over a week since I've done any releases and David was in town as he is most Tuesdays so uh, David was sliding the pad and I was just focusing on my legs during the releases especially this pagan and spotting the bar uh, spotting the bars I catch instead of just blindly throwing trying to get more of a conscious vigil when I do the skills by themselves, I can get a pretty good visual. When I'm nervous in the routine, unfortunately, it's it's kind of blind, um, which I don't like. I'd like to be able to look at the bar firmly, even when I'm under pressure.
If anybody saw the uh, the Gaylord video, the Gaylord compilation that I posted to uh, to my socials, you would have seen that I have caught every single double front type skill over the bar, and that that kind of hit me on I don't know what what night it was, but I was like, wow, I've actually caught every single Gaylord in the code of points, every single double front type release over the bar in the code of points, as well as making my own. Uh, skill and then doing some even more difficult variations which I haven't caught yet but uh, I do think that I have the ability to catch straight and straight full I think tuck one and a half right now is a bit beyond seems a bit next level but at the same time the tuck one and a half and even the straight full that were in that video uh, back then my pagan wasn't as high as it is now I wasn't able to catch Maris so part of me thinks that if I try those skills again now, I might actually be better at them than I was uh, back then, which I think that was about 2021 or so. So it's been been two, two good years since then, two and a half even. Working to continue straightening out my hip angle on that scissor. Now one thing that I might try for the WGA is the reverse scissor to handstand with a half turn. FIG scrapped that skill. Um, you can't do that one as well as the reverse scissor to handstand, but in the WGA you can. And since I'm better off with uh, with scissor skills, my circle work isn't too strong. It's another place that I can add a D into my routine. I think the most competitive apparatus in the first cash cup was pommel horse. You saw some uh, guys that looked like they were just in their teenage years come just tense away from world champion Steven Nederosik. So there were some seriously impressive skills being done on horse. Oh, that knee. Fam, I had to stay down on the ground for a solid minute after that knee smack. It was so painful. My knee bruised up and I hit in that delicate place right on the inner part of the knee. Hey, but if I get a woo, my pommel horse game is going to go to the next level. Wu is another one of those skills that I never thought that I would get. It always seemed confusing beyond me, but now I feel like I, feel like I could get it. So yeah, pommel horse was, uh, from memory, pommel horse was really competitive. So I think to have a chance of, of even top three, I'd probably have to add another three E's at least into, into my routine. But still participating is fun, so you know I'm I'm thinking of submitting all six of Pratis again to this uh, to this next online competition. Ah, is this the day where I did the? Uh, so yeah, the reason I started talking about my Gaylord video was because there was a pagan I did, which was the best pagan I've ever done in my life, and man, I might not ever do another pagan like that again it was this one here oh that was just and i've been trying to do it like that since then every single high bar sesh and i've come close once or twice but i haven't been able to replicate this form i mean that's got to be a point one at most even in slow motion it's so satisfying to see it i probably watched that pagan over a hundred times since since doing it Working to get that quast angle better. Well, oh, let's do Yuchenko full in. Fulls are good, but double twists don't get much block. Threw a two and a half. I forgot that I threw a two and a half. So we must be at a Thursday. Yeah, this must be Thursday because Friday would have been full uniform. I'm doing quite a lot. You know, they say that the gymnasts in the early 20s are in their prime, but like I always say, I'm a late bloomer. I'm a late bloomer. I was never able to do this much gymnastics in my life. If I had done this much the day before a mock competition in my early 20s, I wouldn't even be able to hang on the rings. My shoulder would have been 
thrashed the next day. I would have been tired. But you know, I guess I did build up to this gradually. If you remember after World Championships last year, I can't believe it's already been a year since Worlds. Um, I started doing a little bit on all six on both of my uh, big training sessions, Monday, Tuesdays and Thursday, Fridays. I would touch at least a little bit on all six. And over the course of a year, I kept on progressing it, adding a little bit more, a little bit more. And now, uh, as you can see, I pulled out a whole P-Bar routine the day before a mock competition and still, from memory, did decently well the next day. Not to say I wasn't tired. I, I remember definitely feeling a little bit tired on P-Bar the next day. But gotta be happy with the amount of gym that I'm doing. All right, let's see how we went. Friday, decent scissor. Hips are getting more extended. The hips look like they're a bit higher than they used to be. And from memory, you know, whether it was Oceania or, or Commonwealth Games, I really struggled in my horse buildups in the last few years. I feel like I was pretty much just sending the routine with minimal uh, numbers under my belt. But this time, you know, touch wood, obviously. But I haven't missed many, many pommel horse sets in the last month or so not that there's much to miss i know but fam pommel horse is hard for me i'm circling on bent elbows in a half dip position takes a lot of energy so on tuesday i did not do the yamawakis just to play it safe with my shoulder and i've actually missed here uh, whether i did the yamawakis or not i think i did do the, do the yamawakis but i just full twisted the dismount to be safe Vault, looks like this could be a WGA submission, so I have blurted out with some cash money. Looks like I was a happy chappy though, no wonder it's a submission. Piba. So we've hit pommel, we've hit rings with a simplified dismount, we've hit vault, so three out of three so far. Good. Makuts has been on lately. Makuts has been on ever since I put it earlier. But this has been happening a lot. My giant D arm has started to regress. And I feel like it happens it happened last year as well. It's starting to regress. I feel like I'm doing the same thing, but looking at the video, it's sloppy. My form is breaking and in the last couple weeks I've really been struggling with grip so what you're gonna see in the following training week is me return to my other P-Bar routine where the Makuts is after the Giant. It was working, I was hitting it but the grip has gotten just worse and worse. It might be a seasonal thing whenever the, the weather gets dry, less humidity it becomes more and more difficult to get the grip right. All right, fam, I'm gonna let you just uh, enjoy the frustration now. I think that was my one touch. but then immediately you snap back to your senses there was a yeah there was a, a coach and, and one gymnast in there so I had to immediately apologize and then I went back after and, and again said sorry for screaming self-control me self-control come on And I gotta be honest, I am full of fear. When I raise my arm before this bar routine, I am full of fear. There's no denying it.
and by this stage I was gassed out. This floor teen was, uh, my goodness. It actually started okay. It started okay, but it did not finish okay. Didn't mean to spoil it. So floor last is still taking a while to get used to. That one was uh, was actually alright. Looked like my right foot slipped out from under me. And here's where I just gassed out. So after this, I physically couldn't raise my arms to side. And it wasn't psychological. That wait there that I skipped through, it was probably about 20 seconds that I was waiting in the corner. And I swear, I could not raise my arms to side. I was so gassed out. Hope you liked my uh, one and a half years of, of Flair's progressions. I, that was my attempt at making a, a sort of different kind of video. Um, now, I was holding on to a lot of frustration after falling from that high bar routine, so I did end up doing it uh, on the Saturday, which again shows that I'm getting in much better shape. Doing your P-bar routine on Thursday, before the mock comp on Friday, and then still sending your high bar routine on the Saturday right after a whole mock comp. So I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the video um, because this routine is one that I might use. I did end up blurring it out with some cash money. Alright, thanks for watching this far in. All the best. Till next time.